Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is a video about loyalty points. In the process of running missions, you will probably have noticed that the mission agent gives you a set of rewards. Right? Interstellar credits and loyalty points. Right? So you talk to an agent, you accept their mission, you go run the mission in question, and you get these rewards. Interstellar credits are obvious enough. It's money. But what are loyalty points? Loyalty points are an alternate currency that are used in loyalty point stores. So for example, if I go to the station surfaces window on the right hand side and I click this button that looks like a soldier with a wreath and three stars, I click on that, that's the loyalty point store. And here I can see everything that's being offered by the loyalty point store of the corporation of the NPC corporation that I am currently docked at. So I'm docked in a Pater Tech School, so I'm seeing the loyalty point store for Pater Tech School. And it might be initially filtered by show only available. Uh, you can show affordable only, or you can switch to show all to see what is in the store right, for future planning purposes. You can also click the Edit Filters button and specify what types of rewards that you're interested in looking up and specify the filter in other ways. You can also save uh, your changes as a preset, so you can go back to that filter later. But looking at Show All, I can see the name of the reward, its loyalty point cost, its interstellar credit cost, and whatever other items might be required by it. For example, if I want to get a distribution connection skill book out of the loyalty point store at Pater Tech School, I need to spend 15,000 loyalty points and 10 million interstellar credits. With one very particular exception, loyalty points are specific to both you and the NPC corporation in question. So. I'm looking at the loyalty point store for Pater Tech School, so these transactions only care about how many loyalty points I have with Pater Tech School. Uh, right now I only have 136 loyalty points, I can't get very much. I cannot convert loyalty points from a different corporation like Potec Pharmaceuticals, or Quave Corporation, or Republic Justice Department, or Republic Parliament, or... Uh, the Amatar, uh, the Amatar Consulate, or the Amar Navy, or whatnot. Okay. So loyalty points between uh, cannot be converted between corporations, with one very specific exception, which I will get to later. Okay. So normally, how you get these loyalty points is that you run missions for the NPC corporation in question, and you gather loyalty points as you do these missions. And when you have enough loyalty points, you can then make purchases from the loyalty point store. You can either use these purchases for yourself, or you can go ahead and uh, resell them on the general market to other players. So this, Eif for example, this Eifer and Company Rogue Warp Drive Operation Whiskey Delta TAC 606 implant, I can uh, show info on it. Apparently I cannot right-click in, in, the, in the loyalty point store menu, but I can show info and I can view market details. And this particular implant has not been traded between players, uh, not recently at any rate. That may be a bad choice. Let me try distribution connections, that may be a more common one. I can view the market details and I can see that there are players selling the distribution connection skill book and there are players who are buying them. Again, note that player buy and sell orders are 90 days or less, so none of these are NPC orders. Or I can make use of the skillbook myself if I wanted to. Well, I've already injected the skillbook, so anyway. Uh, purchases almost always require a combination of loyalty points and interstellar credits. So if I want to get this skill book, I have to pay both the loyalty points and the ISK. Some items will have additional requirements. For example, this Hurricane Fleet issue requires 250,000 loyalty points, uh, a Tech 1 Hurricane, and two things called Minmitar UUB Nexus chips. 
which, by the way, I believe the UUBs are themselves loyalty point store offerings, so you can find them somewhere in this listing, I think. Maybe it's not this particular corporation. I'll have to figure that out later. I have faction ammunition, like Republic Fleet Nuclear Large or Republic Fleet Phased Plasma Large, require a batch of 5,000 rounds, requires 2,400 loyalty points, 2.4 million ISK, and 5,000 rounds of the Ordinary Phased Plasma Large, which it's a Tech 1 ammunition. You can manufacture ordinary Tech 1 phase plasma large. Sometimes you can get a faction module straight from the loyalty point store, or you can get a 1 run or 5 run blueprint copy for that item instead. Uh, so here I can get a Republic Fleet shield boost amplifier, or I can get a 5 run blueprint copy for it. Uh, Personally, I might lean towards getting the blueprint copy. I can just take a look at the bill of materials, notice that it just requires ordinary minerals, megasite, mexilon, noxium, pyrite. I can get that out of, out of asteroids, or trade for them on the market, not a big deal. Uh, but for making five of these things, it's less expensive than just buying five amplifiers straight from the loyalty point store, because uh, these things require uh, Amari... Amar Navy NPC dog tags. Uh, so the Imperial Navy. Hold on, let me expand this column. There we go. So to get a module direct requires 5 Imperial Navy Colonel 1, 17 Imperial Navy General 1, 24 Imperial Navy General 2. Whereas the blueprint copy, 5 runs, if I'm willing to go manufacture this thing myself, I only need 10 Colonel 1s, 49 General 1s, and 74 General 2s. Better to... That's more economical. If I'm going to use a lot of these things. Different corp NPC corporations have different loyalty point store offerings. Or rather, I should say, corporations within the same faction are are split up into different subgroups. Within a given subgroup, uh, the, oil, the offerings may be the same. So I'm looking at Pater Tech School right now, I'm guessing it's going to be exactly the same as Republic Military School, for example. But Republic Fleet is a different type of corporation from Pater Tech School and Republic Military School, so the Republic Fleet's offerings might be different. One way to get information on what's available in all the different loyalty point stores is to dock up in any given station owned by that NPC corporation and look at the loyalty point store. Uh, you can alternately go to uh, this website. I will try to remember to put a link in the description of this YouTube video, but it's alatha.com, uh, echo lima lima alpha Tanko Hotel Alpha dot com slash Eve slash LP hyphen stores. And if you can't find it that way, uh, you can always pull up uh, Google and run a Google search for Eve Online Loyalty Point Stores. This should probably be the top result. But you can see what's being offered by Loyalty Point Stores, and you can also narrow the search. So if you're interested in Federation Navy Stasis Webifiers, uh, you can type in here Federation Navy Stasis Webifier. Uh, I would click all words and click go, and you can find uh, Federation. Why is it pulling up the Kaldari Navy results as well? Oh, it's matching the Federation Navy dog tags in the column. Let me try exact phrase. There we go. So the Federation Navy Stasis Webifier blueprints are among the, amongst the first results, but you can also get a Fe Federation Navy Stasis Webifier module directly uh, for a different price. Again, personally, wherever 5-run blueprint copies are available for a faction module, I would go with the blueprint copy and just make the thing myself out of materials that I can buy off the market. 
it's more economical in terms of the insignias that you'll have to obtain. Uh, for most players, I do not advise blowing up NPCs of one of the high security powers, because that will drop your faction standings with that high security power. I don't want to tank my... I don't want to trash my uh, Kaldari state standings trying to gather the Kaldari Navy insignias myself. Occasionally I have to make trips to Jita, the largest, single largest trade hub in EVE Online, and I would very much prefer it if the Kaldari Navy weren't spawning to shoot at me everywhere I go in Kaldari high security space. But some players are engaged in these activities, and they sell the Navy dog tags that they come across. So you can buy the Navy dog tags off the market, and then go to a loyalty point store, run some missions for a particular corporation like Federal Administration or Bank of Luminaire or Patent Insurance, Impetus, Inner Zone Shipping, and get the blueprint. Uh, or you can... Actually, these look like the same corporations. Uh, it is, again, it is worth noting that corporations are grouped into, I guess you would call them sub-factions. So Quaif, Supreme Court, University of Kai, Agonix, Garuna Investment Bank, all the rest of these will have this blueprint available in their loyalty point stores. So that is, generally speaking, how loyalty point stores work, and the stuff that you buy from loyalty point stores is generally called faction stuff, or faction items. Faction ammunition, faction ships, faction modules, they all come from a loyalty point store by definition. If you want to know how many loyalty points you have, you can go to the Journal, uh, the Agents tab, the Loyalty Point Stores sub-tab, and you can see the number of loyalty points that you have. You can click on Corporation to sort alphabetically by Corporation. As always, clicking again reverses the sort. Or you can click by Loyalty Points to, see, uh, to sort them by whoever you have the most loyalty points with. Right. So I have... 156,000 loyalty points with Wirecoin Peace Corps, 154,000 with Federal Administration, 129,000 with Sisters of Eve, and so on and so forth. I got these loyalty points by actually running missions for these corporations. Right. Concord is the exception here. Concord, Concord does not have any mission agents. Uh, you get loyalty points with Concord by running incursion sites. That's a separate mechanic, and I will direct you to my videos on the introduction to incursions. Uh, for the purposes of loyalty points, suffice it to say that Concord has their own loyalty point store, but in addition, you can convert Concord loyalty points into the loyalty points of any non-pirate corporation. Okay. So again, going back to Payer Tech School, I can click the Exchange Loyalty Points button, and I can convert Concord Loyalty Points to Pater Tech School Loyalty Points in a ratio of 8 to 10. So if I want 800 Pater Tech School Loyalty Points, I have to convert 1,000 Concord Loyalty Points. Again, this does not apply to any of the pirate corporations, because Concord does not like the pirate corporations. So if you want Concord, I'm sorry, if you want loyalty points with any of the Garista corporations, or the Serpentis, the Angel Cartel, Sanchez Nation, Blood Raiders, you will actually need to go out into null security space, where these mission agents exist, and run missions for the null security powers. That's the only way that you can get those loyalty points, so far as I know, and be able to buy things like Vindicator Blueprints, or Macarial Blueprints. These pirate faction battleships, that's where these things come from. Somebody was out in null security space, running missions for the pirate factions, and getting pirate loyalty points, and buying the blueprint copies for pirate modules and ships from the loyalty point store, smuggling them into Jita, and then selling them in Jita. So that pretty much wraps up loyalty points. I hope this you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.